I just want to really quickly start off by saying that this video is going to be quite long because I have a lot of things I want to say and not very structured. There'll be a more structured version of what I'm talking about in my Discord server. Hello humans, I'm the Alien Doctor, but you could call me Alien, and welcome back to another video here on Minecraft Java Edition. So what are we doing over here on Minecraft Java Edition, you may ask? Well, I am announcing a new public Minecraft uh, server SMP for you guys, for uh, the members of the Alien Empire community. To join the Alien Empire community, make sure you are just subscribed to the channel, that's all I really ask of you to be a part of this server. You don't have to, there's only actually two requirements to join this server. Number one is to be over the age of 13 and number two is use Discord. And when I say use Discord, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, VC. That just means that you need to be able to be able to see updates that I will post regularly on Discord to do with the server uh, for things like rules and that sort of thing. But my Discord server can be found in the description as well as the uh, application form that is also in the Discord server, which is linked in the description. I will show you that in a little bit. Because I think before you guys all go applying, I should probably actually talk to you about what this server is. I mean, for some of you, you'll just be like, oh my god, Aliens made an SMP, I'm just gonna join it. But most of you are probably not some weird super fan and are probably, yeah, <laughs> gonna wanna know a little bit more about this SMP first. So that's what this video is. This is also an announcement video because you should join it and stuff. So as I said, assuming you're over 13 and preferably it would be nice if you were subscribed to me as well, this is a fan server, then anyone can join, assuming that you also use Discord. And uh, yeah, the general idea of this is this is actually going to be a season zero. So in season zero, it will last significantly less amount of time to what a normal season would last, actually resetting the world at 1.18 when that releases. And season zero will also have a couple of different twists. So the first thing you may have noticed is the seed. So this uh, mushroom island is actually going to be the main area. This is going to be, the idea of this place is that we build some form of village or city or something here. Or it doesn't have to be all the same build style, that's really up to you guys. The general idea though is that we kind of all live here on this mushroom island all close to each other and uh, yeah the reason being is that season zero is going to be a lot more of a community based season meaning that the yeah as i say the idea is that we all base on here as you have seen earlier wow that was actually really good timing <laughs> uh, we also have discord you know uh discord and game chat linked together as well which means if you're in the discord you can also chat to people in game and vice versa but yeah as you can see here this is spawn island maybe in the future we'll build something nice up here i'm not really one for you know having creative builders on here so everything done will be done in legitimate survival we also do not tolerate any form of hacking trolling or cheating we do have an anti-cheat and i will not hesitate to ban you if you are breaking any of the rules and the full list of rules can be found in the Discord server, which is why it's a requirement to join the Discord server to join the SMP. So although this server is public, it is also whitelisted. Anyone can apply, however, that is purely just to stop, you know, cheaters or people with bad intentions from joining the server. Anyone can actually apply. There's a very high chance that I will let you in. The application form is not there to sort of catch you out and, you know, not in the server, because trust me, it's in my best interest to make as many people join this server as possible. Oh, also, I don't actually make any money from it, so it's not my best interest in that way. Just a real quick disclaimer. But yeah, there, there'll be no pay to win or anything like that. This is going to be as much of a vanilla survival experience as I can give it to you, obviously, with a couple of small twists, like the fact that we're all going to be basing on this place. We're all going to have a little... Well, the idea is anyway that you'll have a little mini house or starter base type thing on this island. Obviously, in a normal SMP, you would probably, you know, move out to your own areas. But the general idea is of this season is it's a lot more community driven and that we'll have, you know, I want to have a sense of community here on this lovely massive mushroom island, which honestly, we should probably turn into grass at some, at some point. But anyway, as I was saying, that application is not here to catch you out. Uh, 
don't don't really don't worry about it it's more here to catch out people that have bad intentions and also so that i can kind of just have a sort of uh disclaimer if you like from you uh, that you know if you do end up breaking the rules i can say well you promised on this form not to break the rules there's no reason why i shouldn't unban you or whatever and we will also have a ticket system on discord if you do believe that you've been wrongly banned so go check that out if you do get banned Although I would just like it if people don't get banned because I don't want to have to read through loads of appeals and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, that sounds kind of annoying. Another question you may be asking me is, is this server, you know, Bedrock and Java compatible or just Java? Well, this server's just Java. I know that doesn't really quite make sense because I am primarily a Bedrock Edition YouTuber. But to be honest, I've had a look into it and to me, so having a Bedrock server that's running on actual Bedrock Edition server software would have been a lot more of a pain to do and manage with there being a lack of anti-cheat and just general good options for server software over on Bedrock Edition. And then the reason I've not made a Java server like this one, but then added Bedrock compatibility is because in my eyes that seems to like cause a lot of problems i'm sure in the future i will probably get it but at least for the time being it is going to stick to java only reason being is that it's just a bit of a pain to do uh especially with a whitelist i tried setting up a server using the Giza plugin that had a whitelist and it just wouldn't work because of the way that you know things and stuff work and it, it's just a massive pain okay so i'm sorry bedrock connectivity will probably come but it's not a major thing that I'm going to try and get because although I know it will mean that so many more of you guys will be able to play on it, which is why I'm going to try and get it, it's also going to take a very long time for me to figure out how to do the things. And obviously I do have friends that can help me, but I also don't want to annoy them and waste their time and that sort of thing. However, I'm sure they will be willing to help maybe after they see this video. I don't know. But other than that, that is basically all that I have to say about this. So if you want to join, join the Discord server. You'll then see uh, there's a category of channels on my Discord server called uh, UFO SMP because that is the name of this SMP. I've decided unless you guys can think of a better one, then I'm going to stick with UFO SMP. And uh, basically over there on the channel category of ufo smp you'll find an info channel in there it will contain a bunch of info that will have the application form obviously you'll need to click that link it will take you over to a google document and on that google document you'll be able to answer a bunch of questions and don't worry they're not scope questions please do not uh worry about it there's like a 99% chance you'll get in the only reason you won't get in is if you're an idiot and don't take it like like, don't take it too seriously, but also, like, still take it seriously, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to not let you in. I'm not looking to catch people out. I'm more looking to, you know, just try and make an extra layer of protection for griefers and that sort of thing. Because hopefully people like that are not going to be bothered to do an application form. And if they do, then unless they lie, then uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit obvious to stop the people with the, you know, bad intentions or whatnot. So, yeah. But yeah, don't worry too much about the application form. Obviously, you're going to need to do it to get in. And uh, there's also a bit of information on there that I've also clearly put on there that the only people that have access to it is me. And that is true. At the time being, I am the only person that is able to access your answers. And I do not store your information. Once I have read it and accepted or denied you, your information will be removed from wherever it gets stored nowadays. And... Yeah, that'll be that. I won't give that information to anyone else. I am the only person that sees it. Not anyone else. Not, like, I don't know, my family. I don't know. Not my manager, because I don't have a manager. No one else sees it other than me. So, uh, yeah. I know. I just wanted because I've had people in the past uh, worried about putting their age on the application, because that is something that we do have, is age. The reason being is because I need to make sure you're over 13, but other than that, I'm not massively too worried about what your age is as long as you are over 13. But I've had people worried about that and, you know, not wanting to put their age in. Well, don't worry. I am not going to share that information with anything else, anyone else. It is completely safe. I'll delete it after I've read it and accepted or denied you. So, yeah, don't worry. Your information, it's in safe hands, my friends.
So you may be wondering why I've actually started this SMP. Well, it's pretty simple. We have reached 300 subscribers and 20,000 channel views. So what I want to do is a YouTube live stream. Now, at the time of recording, assuming everything goes to plan, I'm going to do this YouTube live stream on Thursday, which at the time of recording is in three days, I think. Wait, let me just check. Yeah, three days. So I want to do that live stream on the 16th, which is a Thursday, the 16th of June. And this will be my one of my last live streams I'll probably ever do on YouTube because, um, yeah, <laughs> I used to live stream on YouTube. Nowadays, I live stream on Twitch, but I thought, why not to celebrate this 300 subscriber goal and 20,000 channel views? I might as well do a YouTube live stream. Now, I am making this server because I have reached these milestones as well. That means that most of that YouTube live stream will be, you know, on this server. However, there is a couple of other things I also have planned that won't be. One of them you'll know if you follow me on Twitter, which you should go and check out, like, right now. Follow me on Twitter, <laughs> right now. And Twitch, because I live stream on Twitch way more than I live stream on YouTube, because I basically never live stream on YouTube, and I live stream on Twitch nearly every week. One last thing to point out is that this does mean that the Sky Factory 4 series that me and Mini Fearful are doing is probably not going to happen. It's a bit of a pain to have to schedule things around two people for recording. And uh, as much as I enjoyed it, this server is actually running on the same server that uh, the Sky Factory 4 server was running on, which means it's heavily unlikely that we're going to be able to record any more Sky Factory 4 unless I buy another server or find a free one. So uh, yeah, basically no more Sky Factory 4 and I will be making streams on this and I will probably also make videos on it as well. So look forward to that as well. And then I know we're kind of going off topic, but one last thing to point out is I'm very, very sorry. I kind of missed two uploads, which I haven't done in a while. I couldn't upload on Wednesday and then I couldn't upload on uh, Sunday, which for me was yesterday. IRL things kind of get in the way and, uh, you know, are more important than YouTube and stuff like that. So, you know, for example, revision is one of the things that I've been doing, which normally I would have used the time for to try and catch up on videos. I had to revise instead for exams that I'm having at the end of the year, as well as that, obviously, I need to help friends when they, you know, aren't okay or whatever. Friends are important, more important than YouTube. And uh, probably the biggest thing that stopped me from being able to upload is I was ill. <laughs> So I'm sorry, as much as I love making YouTube videos, IRL kind of gets in the way. It, it's, yeah, <laughs> that does kind of get in the way quite a lot, doesn't it? But anyway, I'm back now and I should hopefully not be able to miss any upload schedules. This was a really bad time because, you know, uh, 1.17 just released and I haven't made any new videos about it yet. Don't worry, there'll be 1.17 videos coming very, 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 very soon. I hope, maybe, possibly. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, great week, all that sort of thing feel free to subscribe to join the alien empire today i'll see you in the next video very very soon hopefully 1.17 content is coming very soon thanks for watching have a great day bye